Hi friends, welcome back. It's Nadi from Nadi's Kitchen. Today we're making this amazingly delicious hassa curry with edo and saijin or moringa. And I can tell you this is so delicious. So guys, let's jump right into the video. So friends, these are all the ingredients we're going to need to cook the hassa. I have here some black pepper. I have one Maggi block. I have onions, curry leaves, some scallions, tomato, and this is blended seasoning. I have garlic, onion, pepper, and some thyme. I have some saijin or moringa. I had this in the freezer, so we're gonna add that to it. And in here, I have garam masala, some curry powder, and some cumin powder. So that's what in here we have. I'm going to use coconut milk. I have one can of the Goya coconut milk that I'm going to use. And that is optional. If you don't like coconut milk, then, you know, you can skip that. I have here salt. I have some edos that we're going to put in the hasa. And here I have my hasa. Guys, you have to wash your hasa very thoroughly wash it and dry it you know all the inside like you know make sure it's clean like i like to clean everything out and it has to be washed thoroughly so and you know we're gonna dry it okay so um and i'm gonna go ahead and cut up the edos and then we're gonna start the cooking process so guys the very first thing i like to do i like to fry the hasa so we're gonna do that i'm out here in my garage i have an outdoor um stove set up here so I'm gonna start frying the hassa and then be careful because this tends to scatter so I'm just gonna cover it a little bit I'm going to fry this for like about a minute on each side and you will see it will have like a pale gray look and then you know that it's okay. So friends, we're now ready to cook the curry. So I'm going to add some olive oil. I got rid of the other oil that I fried the hassa inside. So we're going to use fresh oil for this. First thing, I'm going to put the onions in and let this fry. So in the meanwhile, the onions are frying. I went ahead and add some water in the masala mixture and I'm just going to mix this up. So guys, our onion is starting to get a little bit of brown on the edges. So this is perfect. So we're going to go start adding the garlic. And this is the garlic, onion, pepper, and thyme. And so we're going to let this cook for like about a minute. I'm going to add the Maggi Golden Cube. I'm going to go ahead and add the curry leaves. Some black pepper. So guys, this has been cooking for like about a minute and a half now. And it's starting to catch at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes and the scallion. So I'm going to go ahead and add my salt and you can add how much salt you use. and add the curry mixture I'm going to rinse this off with some water so this is 
like about two minutes. Gonzala has been cooking. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add the edos in. And I'm going to cover this and let this cook a little bit. So guys, the edos has been cooking for like about five minutes with the masala. And it's looking so good. So I've put everything aside and I'm going to start adding the hassa. So guys just be careful how you're turning because you don't want to break up the hassa okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and add some hot water coconut milk and I'm gonna add some more hot water this and let it cook so guys if you're a fan of pepper go ahead and add it i'm gonna let that boil i love pepper and now i'm gonna add the sajin i'm adding the sajin late just because i had it in the freezer so we, i had steamed it and put it in the freezer so that's gonna cook very quickly So I'm gonna cover this and let it cook for some more time. So friends, this is looking really good now and it's all done. The gravy has thickened up nicely. The edos are nice and soft and it looks so yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So friends, this is the finished product and look how yummy this looks. Has a curry with edo and saijin, cooked in masala and coconut milk. It's so yum yum. So you can enjoy this any way you like. I'm going to have mine with some rice. So guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.